I'll be one second. I just got to... So the advantage here, Prodigy might have been able to, I think he was, he was in the chat, being able to see the previous match. So he's got an idea maybe what he should and shouldn't do, but we'll see how that plays out because there's always an adaptation here. And I think we did mention it's best of five. So the, the skill that wasn't in best of threes now that needs to be here is going to be adaptation. I wouldn't be surprised if these guys feel each other out the first game. Actually, I would be surprised if Derek does that. He's going to go straight in. Never mind, taking it a bit slow. Starting trophies. I don't feel like you need to start trophies if you don't need to, guys. It's a great map, but okay, I'm back it's really so. big. No, that's all right. Yeah, the um, thing with trophies, I definitely think this is in favor for LeBron here. Uh, the platforms can mess up his balls and give Finn a lot of movement potential. And then the ultra flat, I prefer it as Finn, but that's like a 50-50, I'd say. This one, I'd say, is in favor of LeBron just because of how wide it is. And those I moving platforms aren't too bad for LeBron either. I only know it from a Taz perspective, but I hate giving Finn so much space here. Yeah, yeah. No, I feel that. I think LeBron like. Oh my god. Oof. That's it? No. I think that's it. Yeah, big boy. He hits the net. He hits the up air. <laughs> that was insane recovery from Prodigy. Yeah, and you saw like Derek was just constantly swinging kill moves at him that whole time. Yeah, picking Prodigy the didn't even offense. blink. He's taunting Ooh, again. <laughs> Bit of back and forth. Yeah, Prodigy doing this for a stream. And, and Derek doing this for Finn, I guess. Not a big fan of Derek, as we know. But yeah, Prodigy wants his ball back. He is not approaching. Yes. He, he said, I'm not mucking around until we yeah. get it. I'm playing the game. He misses the high <laughs> five on the ball. Of high fit. <laughs> My god. Bouncing against the platforms, like you were saying. That's yeah. going to be frustrating. Eventually, LeBron's will be doing that on purpose, but <laughs> not today. <laughs> That is such an unexpectedly hard-hitting move, just the regular yeah, jabs. Definitely. And oh, a I was bit of say, he was out of a lot of kill uh, kill combos, but that raw yeah. until it's fine to take it. Finn can definitely fall from uh, I call it Finitis, which yeah. is when he's just so diseased he can't actually kill you with all of his moves. Yeah, exactly. But uh, not quite happening there. Oh he's God. got all these nice. buffs on. Can't be mashing those balls anymore. They're going to be eaten up by those boots. Yeah. Just going for a well-spaced fair. Honestly, the play. Yeah. Just, Just trying, trying to, to burn that shield as well. Yeah. He wants to hit this dunk. So close. Twice! And by the way, Prodigy is primarily a twos player, so he is looking for this dunk. He doesn't it. know as many ones kill confirms as the average LeBron might in ones, but he definitely can hit that loop. He definitely has the combo game still. He just has that different play style. I actually like LeBron's loop. It doesn't feel super oppressive and silly. Uh, it only does like about 40% and you can DI out of it. Man, those those tackles from Finn are just doing so much work. Yeah. Deleting balls or bouncing them away and then just like going through every hitbox that no ball LeBron can put out. Yeah, definitely. Armored bonds. <laughs> danger, danger. <laughs> And this is definitely still winnable for LeBron. He's a big boy. He can live these. And he's got that loop. He's got that dunk for kill percent. So he isn't yeah. as scared as most characters would be. He Great also, X Factor. Yeah. Prodigy has that uh, down air, down B off stage that can just take stocks early. So if he can get lucky here, it's definitely winnable. But Ooh, fall, yeah, falls to the random jab. Did not get lucky. <laughs> Did not get lucky indeed. And so this is a best of five. Uh, I'll change Victory. that. And it is currently loser's top eight. So I don't expect much change here. Uh, assuming hmm. that they aren't just going trophies five times and we're seeing map bans, I'd expect Cromulon's ban from Derek and then the probably even just I don't I don't know what prodigy would be feeling here, but I feel like you kind of need a map to counterpick Derek's playstyle rather than just for the matchup, because Derek has been kind of playing hot these last few games. He has not been wanting to lose. He has been taunting, feeling himself a little bit maybe, and just wanting yes. to get these games over. 
But what is the place. counter to Derek playstyle then? If you're in a situation like, what stages do you do you pick? I, obviously, I'm not sure what the bands coming out immediately. Yeah. But I like to think like, first one on the on the ticket is one that everyone hates, but it's actually not so bad against players who want to space you out is the treehouse. Yeah. Yeah. No. Tree fort definitely a pretty good pick here. I don't know if it's my pick just because of how um he might be going Taz. Just because of uh, how small it is, it can be kind of scary. Yeah, Derek, yeah. considering the BM, but realizing, wait, money is on the line. I do not want to lose this one. <laughs> a terrible matchup for Taz. Um, it just sucks because LeBron doesn't have to care so much when he doesn't have ball. It's, it's like the hitboxes are even at that point. I think the, uh, I think Finn likes whatever his uh, matchup's worst map is, personally. So here, I think Finn's best matchup might be might be tree fort i'll be honest yeah might be might be tree fort just because of how small it is but it's the players like everyone plays their characters so different just because this game hasn't been out for years like smash and so it, it's everyone plays their characters differently no definitive meta has really resolved like we see only attack to Der to derek's finn we see huge differences in gameplay they have the same bread and butters but like i'm sure prodigy would not be going to the same stages against the two Derek is a big vocalizer of how much he loves platforms and how much better his gameplay is on them. So, excited to see what he can do here. Showing off his movement on them, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, oh, back in it. And he isn't using his gem as much as I thought he would be on this stage. Probably scared of him getting the ball, that is something I didn't consider properly. Yeah, he's just going for these ladders. He doesn't want to let LeBron land. He wants to keep him in that disadvantage. First hit for Prodigy. Good on him. <laughs> Actually got it in there. He's doing something. Shield not quite working there because he pulled the trigger at the last second. Finn doesn't have any bad... Ah. Yeah, because I feel like this matchup isn't... Oh, he's got the loop. Drops it accidentally. Loops for five. Great damage, though. Great yeah. damage. Definitely. This game is not looking that bad from that start that we saw there. Yeah, I mean, it was like a straight 70 before he got a nick on Derek, yeah. so <laughs> it's actually <laughs> right at which he is uh, adapted. It's great news for Prodigy. Oh, reflected the ball with high five. That's a worry. If you're putting ball down like that to create space, and then the Finn walks up with his hand out and that is able to time it so that he can high five it, you're probably not using that space you bought yeah. as well as you need to. Definitely. But it's so hard to just like contest anything from uh, against a Finn. So I feel him. Oh, by I feel the way, his pain. to reiterate, for to not do Prodigy dirty, he's been playing phenomenally this tournament. He rarely plays ones, and when he does, he avidly says how much he despises it. But he's managed to take out, I believe, Jiggle three this tournament. Yeah, he's taken out Jiggle three this tournament. He was someone who has won a ones tournament in the past. He is a phenomenal player. Plays Harley. Fueled by that hate, huh? Yeah. He's like, I hate yeah. ones so much, let me show you why. Exactly, I believe uh, last time he played ones, it was against Jobber, and he broke both his controller and his window. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> Going for the combo. He's nice. Getting, he's getting those oh. uh, dunks. Yeah, how did he live there? Is this stage notoriously tall? This stage is pretty tall. Uh, the, I think they do it to balance out the plats. They give it a pretty tall yep. roof so you can't just juggle off the top. This game has some ridiculous juggles. And with those plats, if the roof was like normal height, they would be dying at zero. You'd see some crazy kills. Yeah. But the thing is, you can use those plats to extend your juggles and get more damage. Right up there. So, Ooh, and sucked into it. Behind them, yeah. Ah, uh, I like the plan. I <laughs> wanted to reflect it to get ball back. But if that's the whole plan, why throw ball to begin with? I'm not sure. <laughs> you see it out of them. They're going for them forward airs. Oh, he's turning it up a little yeah, bit. He's Lots keeping this so even. Second. Like, it is anybody's game right now. Definitely Derek's to lose, but Prodigy has his win conditions here. Yep, set it up. Derek has been shortening his gems, if you haven't noticed. He's been throwing them a little bit closer to the ground. I think that's yeah, just stops the that. block. Yeah. And then using that gem, yeah, to approach. <laughs> Prodigy chasing damage. his ball. It's tricky. No ball against a sword. Alright, he gets it. Oh! Uh, if that dunk would have been super scary there, because he sets up for the juggle. 
Double big hit. Oh, running into the gem. I don't oh. think he has anything here, but he manages to get back. This is a scary episode. So clutch. Oh, he tried to dodge it, but Derek shot. That's it. Oh, uh, yeah. Threw it a little bit to the right so that it wouldn't hit. So that's game two, right? That's that's game two of five, yeah. They still have one more to go. It's still definitely winnable. We have we have already seen a 3-0 this top eight with Celepsis and Actu, so I would not be surprised if we could see another 3-0 where Prodigy reverse 3 0 this Derek. This Derek I mean he seems to have so many of the pieces going for him. Like you can see that the cogs are turning and when he's yeah. got advantage and stuff like that. I think the biggest thing for him is is like his opportunities come so rarely when he does open up Derek, it's like a lot of pressure and he's missing these like crucial loops. He's missing yeah. like these crucial dunks that yeah. would just like set him up for the win. Yeah, and that the thing about that though is he is versing one of, if not the best ones players in our region. So it is, cannot go understated how hard it is to hit those loops, to hit those dunks on Derek. Like mm. him playing how he is, is hugely impressive as we are. He again, he is a twos player playing in a one stony. Oh, come on, don't he's is is, is that he's the Taz lock in? Being up to her, you have a bit of a cushion. This is the time where you can BM a little bit, but I mean playing for money, I wouldn't personally. It's not so bad. It's not so bad of a it, matchup. Yeah. It might speed things up for him, but he, yeah, this is absolutely BM. I can't yeah. lie. To be fair, he has Mitch, so we can give him the benefit of the doubt. Mitch is still in bracket. He might be thinking, oh, I don't want to have to verse another Bronner's uh, Finn. Maybe I'll test something out in the matchup. And also Celepsis. He does not like Celepsis, uh, the Finn into Celepsis, so he may be warming up the Taz for That's someone Taz. else. Yeah. It then again, it like is Derek, so it is probably just BM. Yeah, I mean, the most <laughs> likely situation. See, that's what I was talking about. That's one of his best hitboxes on Taz, that munch. And then yeah. it just gets beaten by Ford and it's like, okay, well, he's going for it. You do get an endless supply of anvils as well if you play it right. But the, the next level is that LeBron just like blocks the anvils and gets his ball back. So yeah. we'll see how it plays out. Yeah, because you're the, you're the Taz main here, so you know a lot more about this matchup than I like. I played a bit yeah. of Bron, but definitely not as much as you play Taz. He can get the chicken here if he gets one more hit. Uh, just yeah. yeah. Yeah, this isn't looking too bad for Derek as is. He's definitely slowing down his pace, even slower than he was as Finn. Maybe he's... Maybe with the Finn, he's just showing that he can do it. He can do it with the... With the Taz wants to prove the Taz. Yeah, and there we are. Yeah. Only I was going to say, 29. one of the things that Taz does really well in this matchup is he has a really good advantage. Oh, there comes the anvil. Yeah. It's gone. Yeah, he's got a really good uh, advantage. You can like punish uh, a lot of things that he wants to do. Like if he throws the ball in disadvantage, you can eat it. If he if he tries to like tackle back to the stage, you can tornado and basically beat him. Yeah. All right, we got the anvil. Yeah, you can use specials. Ah. <laughs> I think this is him looking for the kill. I think he's going to be using yeah. all his utility. Yeah. That's, That's exactly he what I was talking about. 3 0 of a prodigy. Only taking 60% on the Taz. So now it is Derek versus Act 2. Good effort from Prodigy. Um, he, he showed signs of life against the, the Derek Finn. Unfortunate. Definitely. He couldn't get a game, but most of those games felt competitive that it could have gone any either way, especially game one. For um, sure. Yeah, good effort.